Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in today to attend our new episode of the Digital First Education Series. We are glad to welcome you for this exciting session. My name is Jean-Baptiste Piron and I'm part of the French Cluster. We are a group of French experts based in Los Angeles and Chicago, and we help French speaking people in the US to reach their business goals. We offer mentoring opportunities, an extensive network and a deep knowledge of the different ecosystems in the region. Today we will talk about websites, which is still even in 2021, an important part of your digital strategy, the entry point actually of your brand service or service. And uh, joining us from Brussels, Belgium, Cédric Godard will guide us on how getting started and will share insights on how to easily create a beautiful website that will highlight your business. Good evening, Cédric. Hey. <laughs> Cédric is a former reporter and press correspondent in California and no journalist and senior cop copywriter working for SMEs and major companies in Belgium. He specialized in optimized high-end content for websites and newsletters. To all your aud our audience today, this is your, your webinar, so please feel free to ask your question in the Q&A or the chat box on your screen and we answer your question at the end of the presentation. So Cédric, good morning again, and the floor is yours. So good morning or uh, good evening, whether you are in Europe or in the US right now. Um, I had the opportunity last July to explain the basics of web marketing. The uh, conference today would be slightly different. I will share my screen, may I? Yes. And, um, the focus today will be slightly different. One of the first conclusions of the uh, conference um, last July was the importance of keeping a website as your primary source of traffic because potential customers will Google your area of expertise. Um, and your aim is now to be the answer to the most frequently asked questions um, by those potential customers. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, they're all very interesting in a um, marketing strategy, but the website is the, uh, and remains the only place you can call home on the internet. In it can play by your rules and not their rules. I mean, um, social media rules, rules that do change all the time. The question today is, how do I create a website? And this is what today's conference is about. I will um, try to use super simple terms to guide you. The first thing, um, you need to create a website. It may be the most stupid thing I, I would say today, but it's a, it's a domain name. Um, basically, it's your company dot something, so your company dot com net org, and with this you can create your own email addresses like hello um, at my company dot us. This is the first thing you need to create a website. Um, you can purchase a um, domain name on a million websites today. It would be absolutely ridiculous for me to um, focus on this. Just simply um, Google domain name and you will have plenty of options to buy your own domain name. So back to the question of uh, today's conference. How do I create my website with zero knowledge of coding? And I will introduce you to five CMS um, today. CMS means content management system. So it's a platform where you can uh, create your websites. Most SMEs will pay for a, um, for a website. They will hire a um, freelancer, um, multiple freelancer or a web agency. But if you are a um, freelancer or a small business owner, um, you may not need to hire an agency and you may start your own website on your own. Um, there are many, many ways to create a website in 2021. The platforms I will um, address today do have um, four things in common. They allow you to create a website on your own. They do have um, basic, at least basic SEO features to be found on the internet and those features will have to work. So um, they do not require you to code anything. So you won't have to like dig into coding and programming books before starting. And you don't need any hosting, which means you don't need to have a web server. Um, those five services I will highlight today are 
about me, Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, and Ghost. They are very different platforms and online platforms. Um, let's start with the most simple platform to build what I would call a micro website or a landing page. This is about me. It's an American service. Um, it's a place to showcase, to showcase um, on one page who you are, what you do. It's the uh, perfect platform for uh, starting entrepreneurs uh, that want to get their presence right on the internet. I mean, without overcomplicating things. Basically, it's you, the description of who you are, what you offer, um, the links to your social networks, e-commerce, blog, for instance, hosted on Medium. The good thing about, um, about me is that it can be used with your own domain name. So what we saw earlier, you.com or yourcompany.com. Um, and it, it can integrate testimonials, portfolio, and even it's, it's been added recently, an appointment system. All you have to do is connect your own calendar to About Me for it to work. The pro pricing is what I do recommend. It's, it's quite cheap. It's eight bucks a month. It's um, among the pros of last um, of uh, about me and it's 6.5 dollars if you choose the annual uh, subscription model with about me you get a landing page with basic seo features it's perfect if you don't have a strategy yet i say yet and the cons um the disadvantage of about me is that you don't have access to any blog, internal boutique. It's just a landing page. It's what it's made for. It's a business card online. If you want to have more information, just check about.me. The second platform is Wix. Um, Wix is super popular in, Euro in Europe. It has become a well-known platform over the last few years because of or with or thanks to aggressive marketing campaigns on YouTube, for instance, it is the biggest player uh, in the website building landscape. Um, figures speak for themselves. Wix now powers more than 160 million websites worldwide. It's made for people. Their visual editor is simple to use. Their SEO features are I would say, okay, they're basic, meaning you can have access to basic SEO features. Wix is a choice platform. If you need a website that looks good on all devices and screens, meaning from smartphones to tablets to um, even computers, the basic editor is Breeze. It's simple, very simple to use and to build pages, blog. You have access to tons of what they called um, Wix apps to, um, for instance, uh, integrate uh, scheduling or appointment, e-commerce newsletter. The platform is free until you need premium features and you would uh, need them if you're a businessman or if you're a freelancer, um, like your own domain name, an online shop, or an appointment system. The pros, uh, as I said, excellent templates. It's super flexible, super easy to use, and extensible with hundreds of website um, apps. The cons, um, the loading speed. It's very average. Sometimes it's very, very slow. And it can be a disadvantage um, to be um, for Google or Bing, for instance. And the advanced editor is harder to use. They have an advanced editor, um, but um, there will be a learning curve to master it. If you want to more, have more information, just, you know, wix.com. But anyway, next time you will use YouTube, you will see that. Um, the third platform is Squarespace. Um, the first thing you notice when you check their website or uh, Jean-Baptiste's website um, on the screen, uh, rawmedia.us, uh, is that um, their website and all websites uh, developed with most websites developed with Squarespace uh, do look great. Um, they look simple, cool, fresh, neat. Just like Wix, Squarespace is a website builder with a visual editor. They have more uh, than 100 templates that do look stunning and that you can easily customize to your needs without any coding uh, knowledge. Usually when I work with 
customers using uh, Squarespace here in Europe, they always say, oh, it's super easy to use. It's, you know, you, you edit your website and you're, you're like, wow, it looks great. And it has all um, what a modern business website needs, meaning um, landing page, SEO features, an online boutique, a newsletter editor that is linked to your website and it's it's a breeze it's super easy to use and then i have an appointment system for instance if you're a personal trainer or um you know if, if you are a doctor it's very very easy to integrate everything works works smoothly from your home page to your blog and your newsletter the pros um templates designed there's so much pros um easy to use and awesome apps on ios ipad os and Android. Page speed is okay. It's better than Wix, but it's not optimum. Um, one of the cons to me is that Squarespace is not made for multilingual websites. It can be, but it's quite tricky and you have you need advanced knowledge of coding to make it work. And it can be expensive if you add all features. When I say expensive, it, it would be like 300 bucks um, a year for a small company, it's okay. Um, the fourth option is um, uh, the fourth option is simply WordPress, and WordPress is the uh, number one platform in the world. It has been there for almost twenty years. It's an open source software and platform, meaning that you can just download and build WordPress on your own. But WordPress also now has a commercial offer on their website wordpress.com uh, the difference is the difference is that wordpress is uh, hosted updated secured by the company that develops it with wordpress what can you do you can create a blog a company website an online store without any or much um, technical knowledge hosting is included as i say and plans go from four bucks to 50 bucks a month depending on what you need updates are provided by wordpress so you don't need to think about security updates all the time anyone who's been working with wordpress in the last years knows that when you self-host it it can be um uh, i won't say a pain in the ass but i think <laughs> That's the obvious thing you think about when you think about WordPress, self-hosted WordPress. It's very, very time consuming. Sometimes when you update a plugin, everything's, um, everything, um, nothing works anymore. So, um, you know, if you've been working with WordPress, you might be interested in just uh, choosing hosted WordPress. The pros and the cons, um, pros, excellent support. It's not limited to blogs. You can build almost anything. It's become so big that you can build any kind of website today on WordPress. And their offer has maintenance, so you get updates, security, and hosting. The cons, if you need plugins, if you need external templates, um, they're only available in their um, most expensive plans. And with WordPress compared to Wix, or um, Squarespace, there's a learn learning curve. Um, it's become too big to be simple. And the learning curve is, um, might, it might take you a lot of time to just master everything in WordPress. The last platform is Ghost, very different platform because it's a content platform. Uh, this one is probably less known. And for a reason, because it's a publishing platform, just like WordPress, it's open source software that you can install um, on your own hosting space but they have a commercial offer where they host they update and they secure everything for you ghost is a powerful content platform for journalists bloggers podcast editors newsletter editors it has one of the best if not the best rich text editor on the market when you when you write on ghost on on ghost editor it, it's a breeze it's um, perfect if your primary focus is uh, content today why because it allows you to create memberships subscriptions to your content with no transaction fees you don't rely on advertising and you choose um, i would say a more sustainable business model with uh, subscriptions 
This is the one CMS I've been using for my websites for a couple of months because content is my primary focus. And um, it has everything you need uh, SEO wise, uh, semantic markup, permalink, sitemaps, and, and all those words are complex, but very useful when you have a SEO strategy and you can do it on your own. I do it on my own. The pros and the cons, uh, the pros, it is to me the best platform for paid content today. It has the best rich editor on the market. It is extremely fast. I think they have like 200 data centers all around the world. So wherever you are in the world, it is fast. And the uh, zero transaction fee for paid members. I think uh, Squarespace does have something like that, but with transaction fees. The cons, well, Ghost is only for content, podcast, newsletter. Um, it is more expensive than other platforms. The for instance, the basic plan is 30 bucks a month. And the learning curve um, is to be considered when it comes to customization. I spent days and nights um, building my own website and it's hosted by them. So I can say that the learning curve takes a lot of time. Um, these were five examples of platforms available today uh, to create a website easily, but there are many more solutions out there. Um, Jimdo, Weebly, Webnow, Duda, Google Sites. I wouldn't advise Google Sites, but it's there and it is, I mean, it's okay. Um, the question is now, um, which one should I use? And um, I can advise you to download this guide, um, this guide is creation guide for absolute beginners. It's made by website tool test tester. Um, this website is has comparisons between uh, CMSs between platforms, and to me, they're the best on the market. If you need more advanced projects, then the first thing you should do is hire a freelancer. Don't do things on your own. If if it needs, you know, advanced features you probably are better to uh, hire a freelancer or a web agency. And the question um, I, I think you may ask in the, coming, in, in the coming minutes is, do you have any recommendation? Well, I have three. If you build a website today for um, like a small business or, or someone or a, a freelancer, go to the, you can go wrong with Squarespace. Um, editor, SEO features, the boutique newsletter, contact forms, it's all there. It's all easy to use. It's all easy to fix if, if something goes wrong. If you wanna develop a more advanced blog or website, you may choose WordPress because um, of the structure, because of SEO features, integration plugins. It's a, it's a really more advanced um, platform but you will need this learning curve to master it. And if you do paid content, which I intend to do, just go for Ghost because of the, uh, I think, best editor on the market, the membership system extension and SEO features. Um, yeah, the, the last thing I will talk about today is um, pictures. Why? Because when you build a website, you need content, and you can hire a copywriter like me or just do it on your own, but you will need pictures. And usually pe what people do is just, um, you know, Google images or Bing images and they steal pictures. Just don't do that. It's not necessary. You can download free usable pictures. Yes, free usable pictures um, on many platforms. Three of them are Unsplash, Pexels and Pixabay. I do use uh, Pixabay a lot. I download pictures and I upload pictures uh, there. It's kind of, you know, like an open platform. And if you need higher resolution or more professional pictures for your website, you can't go wrong with Shutterstock, deposit photos, when well, it might be expensive, but it might be worth it. And um, my favorite is I am. It's a German platform. I contribute to it um, and you can find uh, high, resolution pictures there for like 29 euros. So about, I would say 35 bucks today. That was um, today's conference about building a website on your own. If you need to reach me, if you, if you have questions, you can reach me by email, hello, et cetera, Brussels. I'm on Telegram too, and I've been there for a couple of years. 
not since last um, week because of the uh, you know uh, WhatsApp thing. And my blog is available in French on Ghost and it's Cedric of Brussels, but it's in French. Jean Baptiste. Merci Cedric. Thank you Cedric. Um, I have three questions for the audience for you today. Uh, the first okay. one is from Sébastien and. Uh, and I think you, you, you managed to answer that already a bit, but what will be the best CMS to choose if you want to use and highlight videos on most of the pages? Is it Ghost? I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, I, would, I would go for Squarespace. What's so great about Squarespace is when you, you copy paste um, a web address, a URL, for instance, it becomes a video immediately. You see what you get. Um, so my, well, it might not be, um, um, yeah, I, I, would, I, would advise, I would advise Squarespace for this kind of website. Okay. If you need something easy, intuitive, and good for videos, go for it. Good to know. So- uh, uh, And I have zero commission. I have <laughs> zero commission. Yeah, that's, that's the principle of, of the French cluster. We don't have any commission on what we, we talk about. Um, uh, I have a second question. Uh, I am thinking about making my website in, with WordPress. Uh, can I do it myself? Because you, you explained yes. WordPress, it's, it's a big thing. Uh, it's nice, but uh, if someone can, can do it itself. It's an open source software. So you can basically download it and upload it on a, your hosting page, um, like on GoDaddy, Media Temple, Gendy. Well, there are many, many hosters. Um, it's, it's easy to just download and upload it on the web server, but then what you have to consider, what you have to take into account is that you will need time to install plugins, to fix when everything goes wrong, to update, um, to update plugins, to update templates. And sometimes when you uh, update um, some plugins, everything uh, goes offline. So it's time consuming. It can be done, but a hosting plan uh, on WordPress.com will be like 20 bucks a month. Is it worth it to just say, oh, I did it myself? Yeah. So. Unless you want to, you know, have nights, spend nights working yeah. on your website. Of course. It's a choice. Something like it. <laughs> and uh, I have a, a third, and I would say the last question because we are. Mm -hmm going to be uh, 9.25 soon. Uh, is labeling your image names with keywords still a part of the SEO process? I know you spoke about SEO uh, on your last session, but yeah, is it still a thing to, to labeling uh, images? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Everything is important um, for SEO except from uh, except key, forget about keywords but um semantic um pictures light pictures small pictures optimized pictures with uh, all with um descriptions yeah everything is important seo is a big thing such yeah, a big thing i know <laughs> okay um thank you all thank you cedric uh, for your expertise and uh, it's great to have you. you always um on, on, on our panels. And it seems that launching a, a website is not so difficult and that it appears no. sometimes. But, you did it, you did it with, with yeah. Squarespace. Yeah, yeah, but you need sometimes to have good tools and advice to succeed. So yeah. that's why we, mm -hmm. we, we, are doing, uh, we are doing that. Uh, just a moment, I have a call, just, just a moment. We are live. Yes, okay. So this session will be available on our YouTube channel very soon. So do not miss a thing. Um, you can also access to previous Digital First episode as well as the selection of webinars on real estate or immigration to mention a few. Um, our next episode will be on Wednesday, January the 27th. And we will talk about legal aspects when you do some uh, web marketing online. So please follow our social media to be informed about our next event and for more information about the French cluster. And so thank you all for being present today. Thank you, Cedric, again. And we are looking forward for, to welcoming you again very soon. Thank you.
Have a nice day and evening. Bye-bye.